Welcome to DWI episode 36, 3636. That is Jerome Bettis. You hear me, dude? Mm-hmm. The bus year. Yeah, I know I had my differences with the bus. But with that being said, I appreciate you. We appreciate you for coming on this journey. But the journey continues. So without further ado, that's Wax. I'm Illy. That's Doove. We are DWI. So, fellas, let's get right into it. happening in the uh, Beaver Falls area right. as far as a lot of good things happening. Right. A lot of businesses opening up. But there's definitely one thing I'd like to bring up before we get you know into the greater part of the show, and that's uh, the mural. Right. Do you guys see that mural down yeah, there on 7th yeah, Avenue? Yeah. That's Shout out Spools. Shout AKA out Spools. Miles. Yeah, he, uh, he, he did his thing on that mural, man. Yeah. He's the one that did our logo, so like he, he he's talented, super right. talented. Right. And he did um, the Second Avenue Court with the right. like we you've seen it on on our channel like the the Tiger Duncan backwards. That's that's uh, OG. That's yeah, his stuff. him. And I think Uncle Larry helped him out. Uncle Larry Nelson, he helped him out on that. But this is to highlight the mural. He got a saying out. It's law. It's an acronym. Mm-hmm. Love always wins. I believe that shit, man. Mm-hmm. And I know y'all do too as well. Yes, because here at DWI, we understand the essence of love. And without love, you can't create anything that's going to last. Right. You can't make a dollar. You can't have a sustainable relationship. Your family's going to be dysfunctional without love. Right. So with that law that you know he put in place... We're going to get into that because I, I think you got something pulled up to where we can definitely give you viewers at home a look on what we see every day when we drive up and down the avenue because this is a mural that was out of the mind of Ed Miles, man, and he's definitely a super genius when it comes to this drawing and writing shit, man. This dude's a beast, man. And they're having a, a ceremony for the, <laughs> the unveiling of it. Was okay. it August 30, It's said? August 3rd so, I'm a, at I'm a, 4 o'clock. Yeah. August 3rd at 4 o'clock. I'm going to run the uh, video for y'all. Let y'all hear it right out of the horse's mouth. Good. Hey, what's up, everybody? Ed Miles Artist. Look me up on Instagram, Ed Miles Artist, Ed Miles Artist 72. We did it. We did it, man. August 3rd, the unveiling. Come check us out. That's Come fine. check me out. Come check out everybody you love. This is for you, Beaver Falls. This is you. Love always wins. The law of law. Look at that, man. With love. It cool. always wins. That's what's up. This is for you. Finally finished. Finally crossed that hurdle, that finish line. I told you. I told you it was going to be dope. I told you it was going to make you feel good. So many people have stopped, beat horns, and pointed, and kids, and adults alike. I'm just I'm just blessed to be able to, to do this for, for our town. So Talk to them, OG. For your prayers. I'm praying for you, and it's all good. I love you. All right. <laughs> Love always wins, man. Man, that's the dopest shit, man, because that right there lets us know that there is a tomorrow, man. Right, right, right. You know, we ain't stuck in this alternate universe, or as everybody likes to think, the multiverse. Right. We're living in reality. Right. And in reality, we need love to conquer all, man. Yes, sir. That's definitely a good recipe for hate, love. Right. And the fact that it wins the way that it does, because like it sees through the bullshit. Yeah, exactly. it's like the internet. Right. It's like the internet. It, it gives you a, like a pride for your hometown too. You know yeah. What I mean? right. Like just coming into Beaver Falls and seeing that tiger, man, right. it makes you feel good, man. You so, know what I mean? So yeah, come on out uh, August 3rd, um, what, at four o'clock? Yep. 509 7th Avenue, Beaver Falls. Like, yeah. come check it out. Like, we're we, we gonna try to make it down there ourselves and show some support. Definitely. This is under the old uh, Seth Witted uh, yeah. umbrella. Yep. Shout so out shout to Shout out to Seth, man. Definitely making shit happen for the community, man. We appreciate that, man. We love seeing humongous things like this, man. So, you're definitely. Uh, uh, DWI constituent, man, when it comes down to it, man, we show a lot of love coming your way, man, and we 
we're waiting to see what you do in the future, man, as far as helping make it, this community a better place, man. So right. this is just the uh, beginning. Right. You know what I mean? Right. This shit's dope, man. But uh, moving forward, did you guys get a chance to check the Olympics out? Um, I, I saw a couple of events, like uh, yeah. basketball mainly. Yeah, that's yeah, that was definitely crazy. What about you, Louie? Yeah, I seen a few things. I seen Snoop. Snoop <laughs> holding the torch. Did he crip walk? Was was Snoop crip walking with the torch? <laughs> and to me, did that torch look like a, a alien weapon? Right. Like it wasn't a traditional torch that you like hold up and then like oh man. like or are you going down uh, enchanted hallway like how Bobby and fucking Greg Brady did when they was on uh, the Brady Bunch with Vincent Price in that cave right. with Oliver. The motherfuckers had torches and they didn't look nothing like that. It looked like an alien bowling pit. <laughs> this nuke was old, man. That shit looked crazy as hell. And I thought he crip walked a tiny bit. He did. He did. He somebody, threw them C's up for them somebody, out there, man. Somebody asked him to, you know what I mean, do his little two step. Man, shout out to Snoop, man. Yeah, Snoop, Snoop's done every side mission in the game. Yeah, he, definitely. Man, he's done everything. What, what has Snoop not done? Right. Bruh, he coke with Martha Stewart. Listen, he got some shoes we, out. We'd be here for all day if you ran down this. You know, you right. Stats. You right. Of miscellaneous shit, just, right. just that, just, just random shit that's right. like accomplished. Let me ask you this, dude. And I'm gonna ask you two wax, but I'm gonna start off with you. Who do you feel is the biggest rapper in the world as far as achievements? Notoriety, probably Snoop. Notoriety, yeah. We talked about earlier, probably Snoop. Like, who else is more popular than Snoop? Snoop's more popular than the dog that he's named after. Snoopy. Yeah. From the Peanuts. From the Peanuts. He's more popular Charlie than Brown. Snoopy. Think about it. Like, there's people, there's kids out there that know, don't even give a damn about Snoopy, but they know who Snoop is. Demographically, older people do too. Grandparents. Right. Like, that's Snoop Dizzle. That's the old, you right. know, that's the OG. Right. What about you, Wax? Who do you feel is the most known rapper in the slash world. entertainer in the world? Probably, I'm going with Snoop myself. Man. Right. Like, I think he he has a worldwide name. Like, even people in villages without TV know who Snoop is. Right. And that's insane. Like, I think he's bigger than Jay Z, Kanye, and all of them. You can add some death metal bands in there. You can add some uh, classical uh, rock in there. Right. And when it comes down to it, Snoop has transcended the vibration of music, yeah. if you will. That's mm -hmm. a fact. That's so, a fact. Snoop's up there. That's crazy, man. Shout out OG, Triple OG. Um, Big Unk, you definitely paved the way for pretty much everybody who's out there doing the craft of rap and or hip hop, man. So you definitely get a salute from DWI, which is a dope thing to be able to accomplish. <laughs> hey, Uwe, you got a little clip of that shit, Snoop up here breaking that shit down, bro. Yeah, yeah. Let them know. Matter of fact, don't you dare let them know a damn thing. Until what? Until they do three things for us, Wax. And what's that? That's like, mm -hmm. share, and subscribe. Now, we did the whole little act last week. We ain't breaking that down for you this week. You seen it last week, and if you didn't, you missed out. <laughs> so, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe, and we want to go ahead and keep bringing you this material live. All right. And when they do so, Wax, that lets them know, ding, it's live material happening at real time. Right, hit, oh, that, yeah. hit that notification bell so you know when it's coming. For the, for the algorithms. Right. We need this for the algorithms. Hey, dude, and let me ask you. Cost you a thing. No, Wax, it don't cost you a damn dime. My bad for even interrupting. It's Excuse all me. good. It's all good. Let me ask you something, dude. Mm -hmm. Would you care if they did a comment down there either? No, I wouldn't mind. Wax, you want to hear from DWI constituents out there? I, I do. I, I, I like seeing people uh, engage with our, our content. Definitely. You know I mean? and, and me as being Illy, you know what I mean? That Illy's the oldest, but gets coldest. I'd like to see you guys definitely interact with the ones and twos because at that point, that'll definitely let us know that you guys are listening for sure. Right. So for the ones of you that are sending us the sidebar, Listen, shots out to you, man. We love you. We know what we know what it is, man. Right. But listen, be more active down there, man. Let us know that you definitely listening right. and you want to hear more shit come out of these two and myself. So challenge us. Challenge. You know what I mean? Let's get it on. Definitely.
Hey, dude, can you pull that up? That little clip of Snoop Dogg, she walking on there? Yeah, man. He, he's doing oh, his thing. There he is. He's doing his thing. He sea walked into a cha cha. <laughs> you see that? That nigga sea walked just to let him know where he's from, Long Beach. It's the city that made him. <laughs> and then he turned it into a cha cha so the regular uh, public can, you know what I mean, be able to right. uh, uh, deal with it. But that's that's a that's some big shit though. Like this nigga carrying the torch, Bruh. And that in the Olympics ain't even in America. Them motherfuckers is in France. So right. like, how the fuck he pulled that off? Who who made that call? Man? Right. Let's get Snoop to do it this year. Well, well actually, I, oh, we want Snoop. I was just about to say, me and you heard the uh, <laughs> conversation, man. He said Snoop and Zap The motherfuckers hit it off like Zap D. Is it Calvin and Brody? Calvin Brody? Calvin Brody? Zap D Snoop? Zap D Twi? Zap D Twa? Merci beaucoup. Zap D. Why do they always do that, though, man? Right. Motherfucking France. Now, listen, shout out to France, man, you know what I mean, for holding this big event. But at the same time, I want to ask you, why does the French always make you feel exactly how the fuck they feel when they're saying shit? Right. Them motherfuckers be on one like, <laughs> I mean, I've never hurt so bad, and I don't even know what they're saying, so I don't know if I should show empathy or wait to see if they pick their head up like, like, da, 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 da. like I, I wish I could speak French. Like that shit would be the coldest shit. You be any bro with it. Like shut the fuck. You probably called her a stanking whore. But it's like shut the fuck up, the toi. Like, mm. You had me as a toi. Right. <laughs> you know, you know, like, he done talked all kind of shit about it. <laughs> That's that shit, man. Listen, if you know French out there, definitely break it down. We'll be taking DWI lessons so we can bring it to you in France, Germany, Spain, Ireland. We want to reach this shit. We want to hit every point of the globe. Africa for Shigadale. We definitely want to make it happen for everybody. So for those of y'all that thought I was right. going to forget the motherland, it ain't going to happen. Right, we're trying to get down to South Sudan. Yeah, all right. Let yeah. Them, let them, uh, you know what I mean? Look, I I see whose ass they've been whooping. Speaking of South Sudan, I think they just beat, uh, who was it, Puerto Rico? Did they? Like, in the, in the games. Yeah, like, uh, I'm pretty sure it was Puerto Rico, and and it was like their first win as a country, like their first event, first time playing basketball. And right. shit. It was like a lot, but like I still don't think they should have gave the United States a, a run for their money. Not know? like they did, bro. Mm -hmm. Not down to one point, man. Because right. at crazy. that point, that's too close. That's what did Coach Al always see, say? If you let a person play with you, they, they will. will. You know what I mean? So that shit right there was too close, man. Yeah, it's like it's like Bron and wasn't playing; they wasn't taking it serious. Right? Was it Puerto Rico? Yeah, it was Puerto yeah. Rico. They ended up winning by like a double digit lead. Who SSD? Mm -hmm. That's a crazy ass fucking acronym for South Sudan. Yeah, them motherfuckers is balling, man. They definitely gave us a run for our money, man. Right. Yeah, right. But did you see the controversy with the? Uh, with the opening ceremony where they had the, the like drag, drag queens or whatever, like all dressed up in the the Last Supper, bruh. It's not like, just uh, disrespectful as hell. Life is about inclusivity. I get it. Right. Don't go putting all kind of unnecessary moves out there. And I know a lot of controversial people are gonna be like, "What's unnecessary?" Right. I mean, the stuff that we grew up keeping us sacred. Right. What's sacred anymore? Is right. that one of those things that change like everyday antics in the world? Right. And why why choose just one religion to to mock? You know, right. You didn't have Muhammad up there. You didn't have you know uh, Judaism up there mocking it. So like, oh, they didn't have Buddha up there. Buddha right. ain't having that. They just chose to, to mock Christianity. Which Buddha's not having it. That's what you gotta understand, man. Right. Them Buddhists they ain't playing that. But you know they choose to do what they want to do at the point of when they want to do it. So it's like, damn. Why Why do you think they choose that, though? Like, is it, like, for shock value? Or is Probably it, like, could be. We're, we're agreeing with everything that's going on today? Or, like, what, what's It's the about value? inclusivity for everybody. And, I, like I said, I mean, I agree with that. But when is some things held sacred is right. all I'm asking. It's not to stir up anybody's emotions or feelings on why can't they do it, too. Right. 
But that is something that I wouldn't prefer to mock in right. any way. Anybody's religion. Right. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't mock anyone's religion because that's what they that's their beliefs. That's that's what they hold close to them. Like why? Just because that religion doesn't like it don't mean you could you can still mock it. Like there's a million and one things to do out here. You could have mocked the Brady Bunch. You could have had something like that and right. had all of those people in a setting to where they wanted to have it the way they needed to have it. Right. But there's certain things that should be off limits. I think about that with everything. You know, there's certain things that should be off limits. Old people, children, school zones. Right. Neighborhoods where kids play. Those things should be held off limits for anybody doing any of the bullshit out there. You know, at that point, leave those places alone. Let right. them people who want to grow, grow and become what they want to be. Because if you haven't noticed, they're running out of doctors. They're running out of veterinarians. They're running out of people that are important that want to become those things because they're changing their appetite based off of the structural value of the community. Right. If it's imploding and folding in, they get in the self-defense mode and try to survive in the neighborhood opposed to, let me get, <laughs> you fucking asshole, stop, stop. Just for your, just for your enjoyment real quick. Wow. <laughs> right. But why, man? I'm trying to, I'm trying to land this bitch and you got me fucking going over the trees at fucking 230 miles an hour, just brushing the top. <laughs> but nah man shit man you didn't even have to bring that in here <laughs> it, it fucking pummeled my whole thoughts bottom line is leave some things the way that they are right leave it alone right you know there's so many avenues you can go outside of that I mean, have some respect for it yeah even if you <clears throat> If, if you don't agree with it just have some respect because other people hold it to close to them so right. be so, respectful so what were they doing? Were they they were mocking the last dinner, or like what was like? It was just like a whole bunch of uh, uh, drag queens and everything all lined up like the last dinner. Mm. And I mean, like some people yeah. may take that as blasphemy, right? You dig what I'm saying? Because like that wasn't a thing, or it could have been. Who knows? Bottom line is, a lot of people like to keep things sacred. So mm -hmm. for those that don't. Right, do it you. for the, the ones that do. Right. I'll show you a picture of it. So, you know, see how they got, like... The, the crown. Right. I mean, you know, there's a certain... That's like cussing in church. It's not level. illegal. It's just frownable. There's a certain level of, of respect that you need to have for people's beliefs. That's it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you can still do what you want to do in life. No one's trying to stop me from doing all of that. Just leave my shit out of it. Yeah. That's where the shenanigans start. Right. Because you, you don't like, people don't, they don't like their, they don't like their well, religion their, mess yeah, with. Yeah, their religion or their culture or whatever they got going on. They don't like that mess with, so don't right. mess with everybody else. I think... The Olympics are going to be dope this year. Right. You know what I mean? Especially because they're, like, bringing more sports into focus, I guess you could say. Like, they have some shit, like an, an event where it's, like, breakdancing. Yeah, man, that shit's dope, man. Like, how the fuck you going to have all of these years go by without having breakdancing in that motherfucker? And these motherfuckers is taking it dead serious, right. and there's rules to the game. Mm -hmm. They wait till niggas stop breakdancing right. Just right. to make it a, a damn sport. Man, it's like a lost art form, man. Right. But that's dope that they're keeping it alive, though. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, that shit just, I remember back in the day, the niggas down there at Harmony had to, uh, had the, the cardboard out Bruh, getting busy. You used to have nobody walking around with straps. They might have had a little tiny blade, but they was carrying uh, boom boxes and fucking cardboard. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Right. Remember when people changed the game with having like linoleum? Oh, down man. There? Unfold some linoleum with a fucking windsuit on. <laughs> You're getting ready to fucking take somebody's bitch that it's, night. It's right. over. That simple move right there would have took somebody's bitch had it been on linoleum, which you had a windsuit on. That right there. And the wild thing is, breakdancing ain't like that old. You no, know I mean? but it's it's our age. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. It's I mean, in his like, 40s. That's fire, man. See, look, this. Yeah, I mean, like. He's tearing that shit up, too. Right. Armpits just jumping. I, I mean, wonder how they, how they, like, 
grade it. Yeah, or how they how they like, uh, do that shit. Like the tallies rules of it. Yeah. yeah. There's some know. rules of it. I can't remember. It's like people are breaking dancing, and motherfuckers is like. All right, may the best motherfucking break dancer win. Right. And then whoever fucking screams at the end of the fucking <laughs> break dance is the winner. Like, ah! Whoever gets the loudest scream right. on this fucking scream ometer. Whoever gets the most ooh, like, ooh. Mm-hmm. He took his shoes off like crazy legs. Damn, fucking put his hands in them. <laughs> <laughs> what was y'all's favorite move back in the day as far as break dancing? Hands down for me, the windmill. The windmill is motherfucker. Why, man? That's the only shit that you could possibly do. Right. You don't ever let me fucking land no shit with. You asked the question. But man. you're always on point, man. It's like you already know what the fuck I'm thinking and getting ready to say, man. Like, fuck you, Wex. Fuck me, then. I'm sorry. No. For how about the this? Same opinion, fuck man. you if you don't like shit in nah. <laughs> But nah, man. Good call, man. God dog it, man. That windmill is something real damn special, man. Right. And I appreciate the fact that you doing the windmill and getting the shit done. Get her done. I am about to say, what, what about you, dude? What you feel? Uh, probably, probably for me, the, um, the head, the head. The spinning on top of their fucking head kind yeah. of windmill thing, but just on the top of their head, just spinning. That shit was always the dopest to me. Yeah. What about you, Willie? I was a backspin into a windmill type of motherfucker, man. As soon as you can backspin and do it in the windmill and then come out and do this shit here, right. end it with this, it's over. Game's over. I already got the Pumas on in the windsuit. I'm getting ready to fucking win, and that's that. That's... It's written. And, and I'm taking somebody's bitch. Mm-hmm. That's the way it goes. <laughs> and if you in- incorporate the robot. <laughs> oh, man. The routine, you did this shit? Look at this motherfucker. Look, see, that's the dopest to me right there. There is no getting better than that. Because in order to keep doing that shit, is is impossible if you think about it. But I mean, it's tiresome. Look at that shit, man. That's fire. How can you not want to do that? <laughs> well, that's what I'm talking about. But you get into that from a backspin. See, look at that. That's fire, too. That's it's fire. like some of the craziest shit ever, man. Yeah, like, backspin. But, like, imagine going up to a bitch right now in a club doing that shit. <laughs> She'll cry on you. Like right there. Just get into one of those full mode fucking right there, right there. You could. Like, hey baby, how you doing? The and then get down. right into that. And you'd be a lame and known as the guy that was breakdancing right. down you, at the L. Because your shirt would be all dirty. Oh, oh it'd be dirty as shit. It's dirty Look. ass nigga. Look. That's just fire. That's, Look that's at the that. shit. How's he like how is he keeping this balance and Spinning at the same damn time, man. I wonder if that gives you CTE. <laughs> <laughs> it might. Like stirring up eggs in a motherfucking egg shit. Right. It's like doing this shit. Your brain all fucking twisted. And they made it an Olympic sport. Mm-hmm. Imagine that, man. Break dancing coming from all of that. Who weight. do you think's gonna win? Who's your Who's your? Uh, Who the fuck you think? Is it us or Puerto Rico? I got I got China. That's because you're a communist, you fucking commie. Asian, it's part of the Asian culture now. Right. They've adopted this. It's it's new to them. They ain't fucking with us, though. We got crazy legs. I mean, crazy legs is dying. I was going to say, crazy legs is 65 now. His hips are bad. Ozone can't do it. He's probably the only person that could do it. He's gone. (gasps) I ain't Shabadoo. Is Shabadoo still with us? I believe Shabadoo's gone. I think he's here. Shabadoo would have definitely been able to, like, he's the one that did that. Yeah. Right. Turbo would have definitely turned this mother out, but Shabadoo was the grits and gravy of the whole group. He was Ozone. He was, um... You can't have a Turbo without an Ozone. But, yeah, he was on that. He was on, uh, motherfucking, uh, Raj and him was happening. He had a little cameo on there. Boy, with a chew. He would have ate, too. Who? Uh, what's his name? Rerun. Yeah, he would have ate. had one move, and man. Still, he was fucking them up with that West Coast Cali shit. Rerun's man. move was he kicked up in the air. It was like <laughs> this, the equivalence to this. <laughs> nah, he was always just kicking his leg up in the air. Like, right. 
doing See, a split. Yeah, that was it. Rerun had the split. There's like fat and niggas can do splits too. Yeah, big nigga with an and eight. That's right here. He would eight. What in the Olympics this year? Mm-hmm. Bruh. Back I mean in his if prime. He was back in the yeah. day. Okay, how about this? Rerun versus Shabadoo. We're not even gonna bring Turbo in there because Turbo brings too much to the table. Rerun versus Ozone. You team rerun? Oh man. You gotta be, because you brought him up and said he was gonna eat. I mean, he got a pop lock out of this world. I would say. Nah, I'm gonna go with Turbo. Or Ozone, whatever his name oh, is. Oh, it gotta be Ozone. Yeah, I, I would go with him. He had more and he had more in his arsenal. Not much. But it was a little bit more though. Yeah, I would probably go with uh, Ozone. Ozone had that Jerry curl too. And yeah, he, he was. He would have beat rerun. No, he was Indian. That was no Jerry curl. Uh, it was just wet. He was half an ass. That motherfucker had Indian in his hair and, and his family, and, and his hair was wet. So that's how that whole thing played out. But breakdancing in the motherfucking Olympics is crazy. So, with that being said, we need the hoop squad to keep moving forward, running those, getting those doves. If we're breakdancing USA all day, baby. Hopefully. You said China? I, I, I said something about China. There's a, like a Lithuanian chick that's supposed to be dope. I mean, Japanese on, people, you know, Japanese, is, they, they, they're, you know, all of our old shit is, is new to them. So I get it. But it's still our shit. It's our yeah, shit. But we, we sold out. We done moved out. We done moved on. Uh-huh. We have. See, Just like passing the Carlton on. But let somebody do the Carlton that got some substance. They're going to add all of this into right. it. They're going to add some shoulders into it. We were supposed to rent the game. <laughs> Not sell it. Yeah, but I mean, we made a lot of money off of that. Some people made a little bit. Mm-hmm. Other people made a whole lot, and they're not brown. I get it. <laughs> they so, got a hint of brown. They think they're supposed to be sold, not told. And they definitely sold that fraction mm-hmm. of it. They should have just rented, though, in that, my opinion. They sold that, Carlton Benz, and like a little bit of the snake this way. <laughs> they sold some of that. Right. There was a lot of that to give, so they just passed it out. Right. So I believe that it's going to be us or Puerto Rico right. as far as breakdancing. My favorite part of, of the Olympics is uh, usually the track and field, though. Me too. Yeah. Like yeah. The, to see the runners, and hopefully Shikari, Shikari uh, Richardson gets out there and Smokes the motherfuckers like she been doing. Oh, she's fast as lightning, bro. Right. So she should. She should be able to right. do her thing, man. And she, hopefully she ain't smoke the weed this time and she can she can smoke <laughs> a whole shit ton of it after, after the right after she get home. Right. Mm-hmm. Back right. to the States. We we just gotta keep Jamaica at bay. Because right. they've been kicking our ass for a couple of years. That's because old girl ain't been in there. Who's so, that? The Chicago. Chicago right. yeah, that's and, why. And you saying got old. Because if he wasn't old, that nigga wouldn't be. He's the fastest nigga I've ever seen. But he's still fast to us. Oh, yeah. He'll smoke all of us. You think he can outrun the Jamaican cops over there? <laughs> Probably. For a little bit. Nah, he still got nah, it. That dude, that, that dude's the fastest person ever, ever to me. Mm-hmm. I think so. Like, yeah, yeah, he owns the world record. Yeah, a lot of them. So, like, he's the fastest nigga to ever live. Like, that's it's crazy. I mean, I'm sure there's some niggas in the jungle that was running from lions that was a little bit faster, but so like yeah, the Olympics should be this should be dope. Like I yeah. can't wait to see what happens. But on another on another note, did y'all see like cause we're like we're we're superhero fans over here. We what we love superhero movies and shit. Did y'all see the new shit where they they're coming out with Avengers with but like Doctor Doom is the is the villain? Did you see who the villain is supposed to be? I'll, I'll I'll cue it up real quick. If y'all didn't see it out there, you'll see it here. That's Doctor Doom, but like, oh uh, shit! They fucked around. I got Tony Stark now. They Robert Tony Downey back. Jr. Which I don't know how they're gonna. I don't know how they're gonna make that work because Tony Tony died for our sins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but Tony Tony, you know, what I'm saying died. So I don't know how they're gonna do that, but that's gonna be interesting. 
it's a new layer. It's like a multiverse right, layer. Right, right. Like he's alive in a certain universe right. as Doctor Doom. Which I'm is sure. which is fucking dope. Right, right. Because he's gonna be still Tony Stark and smart as hell, but evil. Right, right, right. Which and, is gonna be crazy. But. He has to go up against one of his arch nemesis, which happens to be one of the good guys. Who? Spider Man. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully they throw Spider Man in. They kind of have to now that they, they put Tony to. in there. But here's my deal He helped Spider Man become who he's going to become as right. far as moving forward with the equipment that he gave him right. from Stark Enterprise. Right. So is that a contrast? Is that like a. What do you want to call that? Like a contradiction of what it's supposed to be because he inadvertently helped him as Tony Stark's. Now he's trying to kill him. Yeah, that's gonna be dope. Right. I, I didn't, honestly, I didn't even think about that. But yeah, that's gonna be a nice little uh, scenario that they can write in there with, if they can get um, Tom Holland or whatever the Spider Man is. Yeah. There. That was like his mentor. Right. So now he's gonna have to beat him to save the world. So with that being said, y'all hear how we're putting this shit together. Marvel, what's his name? What's the uh, old boy's name that came up with the shit? Who? He's still alive, ain't he? Who? The older guy. Who? No, he's dead. Uh, Stan Lee? Stan Lee. Well, I know he got a little son or uh, somebody else running the minute. I don't know. Well, get us in Disney there. Disney owns all that shit. Disney. Robert Disney. <laughs> it's not uh, Walt Disney. It's Robert right. Disney now. It's his son, <laughs> son, son. Robert. Come get us. Right, we'll write that shit for you. Yeah. Y'all get that shit fire. What you think about it, Wax? Shit, I think they're going to basically separate, you know what I mean, the actor from the character. Right. So he's not going to know Tony Stark or anything like that. Like, he's right. going to be his own complete separate bad guy, I guess. You know what I mean? Right. I'm hoping they do that. Right. Because it'd be, it, it, there would be too much turmoil between his past character right. till now. Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark played a good guy, died, come back as Doom, and now you have to be able to put him in those shoes of right. a bad guy, right. retrospectively. And, and Doom is like the ultimate bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> he's the you know I mean he's the main the main bad guy. Like in a lot of different um comic books, he's the he's the one. He's Tougher than Thanos and shit. So, yeah. from what I'm remembering, he was in that uh, that that series with the uh, Fantastic three, Fantastic Four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So he was the guy that went out to space with those guys and got the same powers they did, but he was an evil guy. So, right. kind of Silver Surfer and all of that shit. Yeah. Like, so, and those, I think they got those coming out too. So this movie all depends on what the team is going to look like that's going to be fighting him. Because yeah. The team that they have now is trash. So I don't, you know, I don't know what they're gonna do because yeah. all of the all of the dope cast is dead or gone. So they got you know She Hulk and all of that corny shit. Yeah. Um, you know, so it all depends on what they can do. What was you about to say, Wax? I was gonna say I think Robert Downey Jr. is fucking his legacy up. You think? Yeah, hell yeah. You don't think I mean, he should fuck with it? Nah, he shouldn't because he he was the best uh, character actor. Right. combo in the right. Marvel series. Right. You know what I mean? And he had a whole arc that that went up and finished at it, you know what I mean, the right, right way. I disagree. I, I hope I was hoping I did. feel like he can transcend both characters right. because he's that dope of an actor. Right. I feel like he'll be at his Denzel esque and not saying that Denzel is more of a superior actor, but Denzel can play a dirty cop. A father who's helpless, who's trying to give his son his heart. A guy who's on fire trying to save these motherfuckers' his life. Somebody who's a coach who leads a damn segregated team to a championship. Right. So right. Denzel made yeah, us believe right. that he was all of those people when he was acting out there. Right. right. So I feel like Robert Downey Jr. is that same caliber of actor. I think he can do it. It's going to be interesting to see him be a bad guy. Yeah, Yeah, no, I I agree. I know he can do it, but what I'm saying is that character isn't going to be better, in my opinion, than Tony Stark. So now, like, you already set the bar way up here. Like, anything that's not going to hit that mark is going to kind of tarnish your legacy as 
the greatest superhero ever made. Right. I agree with that. Right. What so, you're saying, I think he'll hit it though. Yeah, I, I'm hoping he does, but I don't think it gets better than Tony Stark. Well, are you biasly feeling that way? Because like, if he does do it, then it's like, damn, what happens to Tony Stark? Yeah, he still no, no. held at high he's, regards, but he's solidified. Yes, Tony, as Tony Stark, Stark is solidified, but um, you have to come with that same caliber of work and, and right. energy. But I don't think he can hit that. Right, you know what I mean? It's like, all going to be in the writing too. Like the writers got to be able to figure out how to incorporate. It. Yeah, how to how to make that shit work. Because it's going to take a lot from the audience because we've seen Tony Stark as one thing and then now you turn him into the most evil person. It's like, damn, that's a, that's a, hard, that's a hard sell. You, you know have that? to like the evil side of Tony now. Right. Now you have to more or less like cancel out everything good you learned right. about him and unlike him. And unlike him and hate him. you got to pretty much hate him. In order for this to be able to right. come to fruition on the big screen. Right. Now, how do you guys feel about DC compared to Marvel because you're going to have a lot of motherfuckers out there that feel like they can bring up seven or eight DC characters that can implement their way into right. the Hall of Fame as we put it right. for the uh, comics right. do you feel that DC has a, a, a foot in the game Wax? Yeah, I think they have a foot in the game but if we're comparing DC and Marvel not really comparing them, but just incorporating them. Like for what movie wise, like movie wise, the value of them even being a, a, a brought up statement. For example, Batman. Okay. If there was a way to exemplify Batman as being able to be mentioned in the uh, the, the conversation of comic uh, comic books and movies and production value of it. Do you feel like they belong in these conversations that we have here about, you know, the Marvel Universe and then going over to the DC world, the DC Universe? Yeah, yeah, I do. I feel like they, they have enough to get them into the door, but like this, you know, apples and oranges. Is it is, but it's still fruit. fruit. Yeah, right. but one you got a pill to get into. That's it. Like, I, I think like... I think Marvel's good. Marvel's better with the movies, and DC DC's better with um, the cartoons and TV type shit. But you can't say that entirely, Louis. Yes, you can. Okay, let me bring something up to you. Batman, nineteen eighty eight, eighty nine. Yeah, I mean, I'm talking about just as of recently. Like, they, Batman. Okay. Batman's the only. DC that has good movies though. All the rest of them are trash. What about Superman? Yeah. Yeah. Superman 1 and 2 was good for what they were in the 80s because they was the first superhero movies. They did break the seal. There was one with Richard Pryor in there that too. That was trash. I'm not, you go. I'm not even bringing that one up. Here you go. <laughs> that one was the that was terrible. Who was I think it, four? I, was that three or four? I think it was four. It's, exactly. They didn't make no more after that. That was it was that bad. Because they didn't have to. It had a great premise. It had a great fucking uh 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 trash. Yeah. Super uh, trash. But but Batman, like you said, the first couple Batman was dope, but then they went off the fucking deep end with George Clooney and Val Kilmer and shit. Alright, well if you want to be a dick about it, who was the best Batman? And we'll go Michael, with category. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton all okay, who was the best Joker wax? Heath Ledger. And you favorite. mother scooter! Why would you say that shit when Jack Nicholson was available? He's my second favorite. Right. Fuck. You too, dude? I, yeah, I would go Heath Ledger. I'm going Jackie Nichols. He was dope, though. He, he was, was fine. Have you ever danced choice. with the devil in the pale moonlight? Like, that shit scared the shit out of me. Right. Now, we wasn't chicken shit, but that shit came. I was young. I was only born in 78. Right. That bitch came out 88. I was 10. Right. Now, I don't know if everybody else out there had a gun or a knife, but shit, my mom was super duper protective. Like, thank God. Shit. But, like. What was you about to say? You about to say something, Wax? No, nah, I was just going to say, psychologically. Heath Ledger scared the shit out of me more than Jack Nicholson. Yeah, was, Jack Nicholas, whatever yeah. his name is. Jack Nicholson, get it right. Yeah. Like, but we seen Jack Nicholson kill Batman's parents. We didn't see Heath Ledger do that shit. And that's the part that shook me. I'm like, right. he made him an orphan instantly. 
that yeah. fucked me up. I'm like, he's a fucking orphan because of this motherfucker. Right. But like I said, we go back to, <clears throat> to to DC versus Marvel. Like Batman to me is the best character. Mm-hmm. Everybody else. I beg to differ. He's not that good of a character. Superman's that guy, man. Superman's like just the perfect person. So it's like, it's just it's hard to give a shit. He can nothing, fly. He can fly. He's, his powers are, he's overpowered. Like, he can't be beat. So you're saying he's a hunter? Yeah. Like, he's he's the dopest one, but like, it's hard to give a shit because he's so fucking dope. Batman he has no, he has, no he has no flaws in his character. There's no character arc. It's just, he's the shit and that's it. How do we know that? Because we watched 50 years of the nigga. Did that, he, what flaws does he have? But there could be a behind the scenes. Of All right, it. but what flaws does he have that you've seen? That you know about I'm not none. Morally. morally. That's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. We're, I'm talking, sure. we're talking about what we know. I'm, I'm, night, he's I'm, a sucker for love. For I'm him. sure. That's, there you go, Wax. So, like, let's dive deep. Since you want to be a smart ass. He's a sucker for love because Lois Lane doesn't love him. That's, she not, loves, that's not a flaw, though. That's, like... He's, he just loves a girl. He's a wet, he's a rest haven. How about that? <laughs> All right. he, he pretty much is. That motherfucker's waiting until Lois heals her beak. But that's and then everybody. she's going to fly like the rest. I mean, it is everybody, but fuck. She was the first motherfucker to make Super Er Clark Kent a simp. I'm talking about he's not like, when it comes to like, when it comes to Tony Stark, right? You see his art, right? Tony Stark was a womanizing fucking ladies man. Didn't give a fuck about nobody. Selfish as fuck. Then he goes up and he... Ends up sacrificing himself okay. to beat everybody. I get that. But can I tell you what, have that. Can I tell you what Superman is? Since you want to be such a smart ass. What is it? He? He's a fucking liar. How's he a liar? Because he's running around as uh, Clark Kent having his alt, uh, alter ego as Superman. That motherfucker's lying to everybody. Okay. Like he's I calm, mean, that's, cool, that's collected. Not, that's not like a kid. Then he's narcissistic. Him. How so? Because he's up here making Lois fall in love with this alter ego, opposed to being like, look, bitch, I'm him. So he's lying and he's narcissistic. Lying from the get-go, like, listen, I got this motherfucker that's deeply in love with you. I'm going to call him and then come back around the corner as him. That's like a connect who always says they got to call somebody and shit, but meanwhile, they're the connect and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, man, let me make a couple phone calls. And then all of a sudden, they show up with shit. And then, like, damn, man, that was fast. You didn't even have to go nowhere. No, because he's like, he called his other cell phone, like, hello, you there? Like, come on, man. We get it. You're the connect. All right. Superman's a fucking liar, man. All right. To everybody. That's not not really that big of a (laughs) flaw. And, no, no. It's not a moral. If you want to be funny, let's be funny. And he's an alcoholic. How so? He was drunk in Superman 3. That's because he wasn't human anymore. It he wouldn't, wouldn't matter. He wasn't superhuman for a couple of minutes. Wait, so you making excuses for this goody two shoes? He this is motherfucker, he's a fucking goody two shoes. He got drunk. He's what you call in the movie business. He's what you call a fucking Mary Sue. No, he's what you call. Listen to me. He's a Mary Sue. A Mary Sue is somebody that doesn't have any flaws. That's why all. Of, that's why I like. Um, Captain Marvel, all of those movies, that's why they flop because they try to make these characters with no flaws and people can't relate to them. That's why they all suck. Bruh, I and get that's it. why Superman movies, other than the first couple, because they they, were, they was new. But after that, they've all been trash. But he was he's hard, drunk, to, he's hard to fucking write for. And he's hard to please. Okay. Like that motherfucker's a womanizer. Like, he liked Lois, but then he had that x-ray vision. He's not a woman. Who's to say that he wasn't? You're up here buying into that shit. He's a simp. Superman had that x-ray vision. What what do you think, Wayne? Is Superman, like... Is he as squeaky clean as people say he is, or is he like, I'm saying it? And you're just making up shit. It was it's fact it's fact no. it's in the movies. You're just, you're just he reaching. lied. You're reaching, bro. You could say that I'm reaching a bit, but the fact that he's a squeaky clean. He's a Mary Sue. Yeah, he's like because if, if you think about it, man, he he's the strongest man on the planet, but you would never know that because he doesn't flex like I would. He doesn't do half of the shit that I would do and that's just me being like a human you know what I mean do they know that he's Clark Kent from the office no they don't know that why not because he hides his identity or on the other hand as more people would say with moral fibers he lies about who he is 
is. He has to because he's protecting the people that he fucking loves. He's protecting his ass. He's he don't want motherfuckers he's protect, calling he's him. He's protecting the people he that he loves. He don't want motherfuckers calling him mid, in the middle of the if night he was, while he's If he was narcissistic, he would fucking say, I'm Superman. Like Tony Stark said, I'm fucking... Iron Man. I'm not saying Tony. Tony, Tony Stark could have could have said, uh, "Nah, he could have held his identity, but he didn't because he because he wanted everybody to kiss his ass." Listen, he's narcissistic. Line. He has flaws, is what I'm saying. When bottom he, when line. It comes to writing, I can't point for out character. I can't point out what was in the movies. Then he went to that bar and got smacked. You just already said that. Superman said. was a drunk. He was a functioning he, alcoholic. He had one. He, had, he drank one time. Yeah, so one, maybe two. That's what I was about to say. Now you call him out. Yes, I call him an alcoholic. And then here's another thing. Here's a whole other thing. The motherfucker shouldn't have took Lois to fucking uh, wherever the fucking the, the, his hood was. He took her straight over there knowing what nobody allowed to be there. So he's a habitual rule stepper. Mm-hmm. He's an over the boundary type of guy. So like this squeaky clean image you're painting of this motherfucker. Superman is trash. Let's just let's just uh, to me, my opinion. Superman is like I don't even want to see any more movies for Superman. Well, they're you're a hater. Good. You're a hater. I'm Cartoons? just pointing out his flaws. Yeah, they're good yeah. cartoon. What about the Flash, muchacho? He's he's a superpower, Man. but he's his movies are trash. Man. Both of y'all feel that way. Yeah, he's okay. not even better than Aquaman. Right, and but, Aquaman can't even right. do shit outside of the water. He can speak to animals in the water. Mm-hmm. Like in the comic books, you know what I'm saying? The Flash is the shit. So wait a minute. If y'all motherfuckers is going through any type of water, you wouldn't need that motherfucker down there? You being all smart mouth and shit? I need that motherfucker. True, but how much... How much turmoil can you get in the ocean? Nigga, there's whales and sharks and shit. He got all them on standby with that. Yeah, like but, I mean, like, but what can he do out here with us? With the, that's in the what real I'm world? saying. Okay, like, well, let's, let's create that for him. But we're not saying creating or doing a motherfucking thing. Until. Until they click like, share, and subscribe because everything we're bringing to you <laughs> is going to be definitely information that you're going to be able to adhere to and take like, hmm, them, them motherfuckers is talking. Or you're going to crack the fuck up. So, with that being said, help us share the joy. Help us pass this buck along to somebody who may need it. But yeah, so, I'm going to ask y'all if possible, if you could have one of those abilities, what would you have? So, Wax, I'm going to start with you. What, what, what ability would you take from any of these motherfuckers? Shit, I would probably be able to fly, to be honest. Something simple, but like, you know, I would be able to fly. That would okay. be mine. What about you, Louie? Mm, telekinesis type shit. I was just thinking that. And you, Ooh, my shit. friend, or another motherfucker that knows how to read minds because you stole my shit. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did, because I was secretly thinking that. Like, man, I like to control minds and shit. <laughs> but that is dope. All right, what would you do? I'd probably do speed. I'd like to be like the fastest look. And I said, I'd probably do speed. They're going to do a sound bite. Like, I'd probably do speed. Uh, I'd probably, well, I'm creating our own sound <laughs> bite. But I'd, pro- <laughs> I'd probably be like fast, like the Flash. Right. I'd probably use that ability for my advantage. Like, I'd be able to get from here to work in like four seconds. Right. But you you run out of your clothes the whole time. Every time you try to run fast, your clothes rip off. See, that's bullshit <laughs> right there. Because little do you know, I wouldn't got a suit. From NASA that makes me able to run right. in my own shit, but to hit in my own shit like it's poop <laughs> in my own like clothing. So I run in my run suit. All right. But nah, man, fuck you, man. You know what I mean? You, you talking about my ability, man? <laughs> what about you, Wax? Like we're like, there's parameters set in place. Like right. you can't just fly around this motherfucker. Yes, I can. Yeah. If I want to go to Hawaii, I'm just going to fly to Hawaii real quick. But like, you already know. What's he got to do? He got to flap his arm. <laughs> that motherfucker got to fly. And it's not like fucking how eagles soar. Right. You got to flap like one of them seagulls or like a fucking... So like to work of, for it. Yeah, yeah, like one of those buzzards. Like, like a hummingbird. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be taking, <laughs> taking breaks every three miles and shit. Like, I'll be like, oh. Hold on, I'll catch up. <laughs> People yeah. be getting further than me in cars and shit. Like, nah, I'm trying to fly like a jet. You know what I mean? Where I don't have to do no flapping. I can just levitate and take off. Like, like Superman. Yeah. 
and mm-hmm. you you can only control robots and, <laughs> and shit that like takes technology like, like but like not good robots like no. to, like toasters and uh, <laughs> like old <laughs> CB <Microwaves>. radios <laughs> any A track you want to take over like watch this and like you can change the song <laughs> Like, your shit is whack as fuck. <laughs> Telekinesis. The only thing you'd be doing is robbing banks. That's it. Well, That's mean. all you need to do. Like, but if I'm the Flash, I can get in that motherfucker and out before they even know. True. But how would you get all the money, carry it out, and do all of that? I would run into the vault while the vault's open. Like, phew. Uh, be in there. Sorry. I mean, I wouldn't take a lot. I'd just take about 17, 18 <laughs> grand at a time. <laughs> I'm not greedy. <laughs> <laughs> I just take, you know what I mean? You're nice honesty. Yes. Yeah. I spend a lot of money in the hood, make sure everybody's taken care of around here, and they be like, this smells like that bank money. Like, <laughs> I just bet on myself racing if I was fast and like not actually give, show them how right. fast I really was. But you wouldn't be able to because once you're in run mode, that's it. <laughs> like you so, can't calculate uh, like you yeah, can't trim yeah. it down there's no governor on it you just gotta go right but like it's fine man we gotta do something about that shit man cause I'm not feeling him soaring through the fucking atmosphere right. man as soon as, as soon as they seem to make it fly in the <laughs> yeah. air you know, and that's right. another thing man <laughs> what happens when he flies over fucking Wichita or flies over <laughs> Wyoming and shit <laughs> and like it's <laughs> I can see him now flying up there and shit with all white on it because you know the motherfucker's clean as the flex. <laughs> I'm definitely flexing. You know what I mean? Flying over fucking like Wyoming and shit, man. Doing loop de loops and shit. Because <laughs> it's nice and he sees the pasture and shit. I'd be scaring all the, the people watching me and shit. Like, <laughs> that nigga can fly. <laughs> It's a nigger. It's a mutie. It's a nigger mutie. <laughs> like they, first, they be doing all kind of tests on him if they catch him. Them motherfuckers able to like, like he's able to avoid any tranquilizer you want to because he's quick as lightning. <laughs> That's now, right, what if we do this? I got you. You're only allowed to fly at night like owls. Mm. Then it takes the fun out of flying. I ain't gonna be able to get seen by anybody. <laughs> do you want people to see I you? Do. I do. I mean, I ain't doing this shit for nothing. All right. If the Elks were still open, would you be like, would you wait? I put until, on a show. Would you, I would put on a show. Would you wait until late night and then like circle the Elks a couple times and shit? I'd be like, down there all day. Like it'd be an all day affair. Like yeah. people be lined up to see me float down to the Elks and listen, shit. Listen, Illy, Illy's power, he's only faster than the fastest person on earth. <laughs> like one mile per hour faster than the fastest nigga. That's ever. bullshit, man. That's as fast as he can really get. Then I can't rob banks. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can just be fast. That's that's garbage, man. That's that's listen. You can just win the Olympics every year, but that's all right. by a hair. Because you can only trans <laughs> you can only like have your telepathy with people that have CTE and like that are crazy <laughs> and then I, I get some of it after <laughs> <laughs> every time you dab in you absorb theirs like John Coffey like, <laughs> like yeah that's <laughs> I'm, like, I for, I'm, I'm forgetting and shit hell yeah so look we up here talking about CTE we're assholes man but nah man fuck that y'all ain't gonna put a cap on my shit man <laughs> That's what you're trying to do with me. Well, like, come on, yeah, man. Like, you just ain't going to be flying around. Why not? Because here's the thing, Wax. Once they see you flying around, they're going to try to do experiments on you like you're E.T. So then what? Then I'm flying away to the next country. What if man. they got tranquilizers? They're going to miss. And marksmen. They're going to miss. Like, I'm going to be all kind of graceful with it, man. They're not hitting the mark. <laughs> Because if they nip you with that tranquilizer, you're going down. You're I'm flying gonna down. Die. I'm going to die. I ain't going to be able to land. In no, the... you're like a bird. So you're soft as a <laughs> feather when you land. He flutters down. Yes. It's not. What do, you, what do you think this is? If you have that ability, then you have it. That's but right. once you land on the ground and you can hear <laughs> all of those steps around you in the tall grass, like 44 men <laughs> grabbing you, getting ready to take you back to this facility to do tests. As I'm in and out of consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bruh, nigga, and you gonna have that outfit on you get on now. You gonna have that polo hat flipped up. 
you will be looking at seeing like strangers you've never seen before from the military and government. Like, I never, <laughs> I never seen these people before. Like, just out of it. So imagine that. That shit would suck then. Like, like so, like, fuck you, wax. Y'all motherfuckers and you, I'm telling you, them <laughs> motherfuckers, like, you can only control people 95 and up. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Like, you got their full attention. Right. You got a couple billionaires in there, but they're smart. They're just as smart as you are. <laughs> so at that point, you're playing mental chess. Not to switch it up, but what about that new Wolverine and fucking uh, Deadpool? Yeah. And then y'all see it? I seen it. Yeah, you seen that yeah, shit? Yeah, was it was dope? I liked it. That shit was dope. Deadpool's dope by itself. Right, right. And, like, to incorporate the real Wolverine. Right. Man, that shit's yeah. I, I thought it was dope, and I like the way that you know the old Wolverine, the, the the last one that they made, Logan, old man Logan. I like how that ended, how they killed him, but like they uh, they didn't they didn't do him any they didn't do him any dis disservice on this one. Right. Like, they still they still kept it uh, the essence of that right, Wolverine, right? That one still dope. stands, and this one is a, a whole different one. So nice. it, it was dope. It was dope. I liked it. Nice. What full, about you? Full of cameos, a lot of wild cameos that you yeah. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna spoil it for nobody. Thank but thank you. Now I haven't seen it, but I want to. Me I know too. it's gonna be dope. Um, I know, like I like how the how you said they brought the old Wolverine back and kept him like you know what I mean. And like they used the old school Wolverine, like when he was seventy, or was it like a younger? Uh, no, they didn't, they, they, was always unknown. Yeah, I they didn't use the old one. I mean, the one that was dying. Yeah, they, no, they, he was a different one. He's a okay. Different one. Yeah, that's that's just going to be fire. I got to go see it. Do you yeah. guys think that's a multiverse version of him? Yeah, it is. Crazy. It Crazy is. how they incorporated that. It's almost like the prequel right. to something that we already seen hatch. And if you guys, I don't know if you guys saw the, the show Loki. Did y'all do? Did y'all watch any of that Loki show? I watched show? a little bit of it. It's kind of like what the, the TVA is involved, like the mm -hmm. time variance association or whatever like that 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 control different universes so yeah. they're involved in it so wow and he got the yellow and blue wolverine outfit on shout out to the wolverines again yeah. go michigan i'm sorry i use that as an opportunity so i hope that shit spoils and y'all too stomach as i say go blue uh, <laughs> yeah man it's about time y'all y'all was y'all deserve one well i appreciate that not thank you but without that I'm still going shine on them, go blue. But that right there, that uh, Deadpool and that Wolverine is a must see. I, I'm automatically giving it a blind eight wax yeah, without seeing it. I think it's a blind eight. You gotta be kind of dope. Because the first two were hilarious, man. Ryan Reynolds is that guy, man. And then they brought Hugh Jackman in there. Right. Do you feel like that's his best role, dude? Mm -hmm. Hugh Jackman? Uh, Wolverine? Yeah. Yeah, I do. His most notable role. Right. Because, like, I don't really know him for anything else other than, I mean, I know him for stuff, but, like, that's the one that he's known for. Uh, I mean, like, he was in The Prestige. <clears throat> I like The Prestige. That's a dope movie. If y'all ain't seen The Prestige, check that out. He that's was a like, crazy-ass movie. He was in Les Miserables. Didn't yeah, I didn't, I didn't see that. I didn't either, but a lot of people gave a lot of good right. reviews. How about you, Wax? Do you feel like Hugh Jackman needed to be in this film for them to pull this off for in the sure. right way? For sure. And that's that's what I like, like that they brought Hugh Jackman back and not uh, an imposter. Right. You know what I mean? And it, like, besides, um, like I was talking about Iron Man's legacy, it kind of adds to Wolverine's legacy. Yes. You right. know what I mean? I think that's fine. Not compromising and adding somebody else. In Bingo. Because they did that with Spider-Man, Peter Parker. Right. They, did they had Tobey Maguire. Yeah. They you know, did it with Superman. Batman. Yeah, they did it with everybody because, like you guys said, Michael Keaton, he's my pick for the best Batman. Right. And then for y'all as Heath Ledger, I still feel like the Joker was the most, I guess, peculiar. He wasn't scary as far as, like, psycho and, like, I'm getting ready to cut your fingers off and feed them to you type of psycho. He was the, like, oh, shit, this motherfucker just made me an orphan. Like Just that. like that, yeah. <laughs> and didn't feel bad about it. Like, he went and ate dinner after he fell into that fucking vat of acid and, like, got his, like, come on, bro. He taught me a lesson about killing my parents. And yeah. Like, 
Like that's when, when, when back in the day when shit didn't work out and then y'all know at home what y'all used to do. Ooh, I hate him so bad. Oh, I hope something happened to him. Please, Joker, come and get him. Right. Like, <laughs> yes, that right there. That God one right killer. there. Yes. But then after you've seen that, you're like, oh, my God. All those, like, ill-advised plans I right. had, please just take them off. Like, I can be Batman. <laughs> if you do, I yeah. never thought of that. Nah. First thing I thought about was different strokes. Like I never thought that I could become Batman. I thought I'm gonna be getting adopted by Mr. Drummond and them. Like this is scary. Like my next door neighbors that was sisters was gonna raise me and shit. Like I was gonna be like having to keep it down at night. Like keep it down. Feel like I'm already whispering. Like hey, honey, you're being too loud. I couldn't poop or pee in there. Like, farting is a no-no. Like, oh, and we don't fart, by the way. Like, you yeah. know how older women are. Y'all was gonna be vegan. Yeah. Right. So, like, I just, I don't know. I had a respect for Jack Nicholson, man, when he played the Joker. He was a scary oh, ass motherfucker. He was super Heath dope. Ledger was maniac. Mm -hmm. He was like a... He was more menacing. Right. Like, who the fuck let him out? Right. <laughs> like the Joker, you knew that there was a grown man like Jack Nicholson. You knew he was a grown man with face paint, but you didn't know what he would go through. Like pulling that right. fucking 90 foot gun out and shit. Like remember when he pulled that gun out? It took right. two years to cut. Like, come on. Man. Shot at the bat wing. Like that yeah. dude was a fucking nutcase. The first off, when he fucking killed Batman's parents, I don't give a fuck what nobody <laughs> said. That shit haunted everything I had going on, man. Like this motherfucker is a killer. And he killed that little boy's parents. So by rights, Batman had the right to grow up and kill that motherfucker. And he didn't. Which I couldn't understand that. The, the Joker ended up dying, though. He of natural causes. Like, <laughs> nah, he fell, remember, he fell from... Uh, no, no, what, that's the, the second one. I'm sorry. I'm talking about Jack Nicholson's version. Yeah, like, he ended that. up down Providence. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker died with all of his little psychomania kids around the bed and did shit. He, like, he didn't die in that one? I thought he did, but I, I don't I'm getting him confused. I thought he pushed him off the... But he I tried forget. to save him and yeah. missed or some shit. It was something wild like that, but... I forget, but yeah. Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson's was dope. Um, Y'all keep calling Jack Nicholson Jack Nicholas. Who's Jack? Jack Nichols, the golfer? Yeah. Anyway. Good shit. Not respecting my joke. Nah, fuck you, right. Fletcher. No, let me quit because he ain't even with us. That's fucked up. That's fucked up for you even saying that's, that's fucked that's up. That's fucked up for you not thinking it's fucked up. Damn. That's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> but nah, listen. For those of y'all that know us, know we ain't doing nothing but trying to show love, shed light on a different type of level, and make y'all laugh and bring it to you and make you think a little bit. We're not going to keep talking about all the politics and all the crazy shit, and we ain't one of those militant groups that's going to keep talking about the problem. We want to create the solution, and I believe a lot of that solution is laughter and love. Like my boy Spool said, law, love always wins. So with that being said, Wax, dude, we're going to come to them. Next week, mm -hmm. same time, yes, sir. same location, right. different material. Peace. Peace.